morning, guys. It is 7.30 a.m. on a Sunday, and I'm just getting ready to go for my workout at Orange Theory. Typically, if I'm going to work out, it's early in the morning because I lose all motivation later on in the day. So I'm just making myself a quick espresso, nothing fancy. It's just instant coffee, don't judge me. But I need to boost my energy because I am tired. So I'm gonna take you along with me today. After my workout, I'm probably gonna grab like a tea or a coffee and then come home and get ready for a day of work. So let's go. Feel super accomplished finishing off my workout first thing in the morning. I'm just at Tim Hortons right now grabbing a coffee before I head home. Hi, can I get a medium black coffee, please? Is that everything? All right, I'm in my home office now. I'm ready to get some work done. Like I mentioned, it is a Sunday, so I'm only dedicating maybe a few hours to my business today. I do work a full-time job, so I work Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. So anytime I dedicate to my business, it's a couple of hours after work or a few hours on the weekend. So um, I've written down a few things that I wanna get done. Now I love, love this daily planner. I've tried so many different planners and this one is my favorite. I'll actually link it down below for you. I got it off Amazon, but I have listed exactly what I wanna get done. So I'll show you my to-do list. Hopefully you can see that and you can read my writing, but basically it starts off with a daily focus and it's actually the vlog I'm recording right now. I wanna finish recording it and at least start editing it at some point. Then I've got my three top priorities so um, the vlog is my top priority and then I've got the adventure challenge with my husband um, it's super fun it's like an adventure challenge book and today we're visiting a village that we've never been to and then having dinner there and then I've got exercise I've been neglecting it the last few days so I really want to prioritize that today and then I've got my to-do list down here so I'm gonna work through that list and you're gonna come along with me so one of the items I want to get done is post a new listing on Etsy I've been working on new affirmation cards for my shop so I'm just gonna start working on it and then I will show you the finished product when I start to upload it. While I do that, I'm gonna be enjoying my coffee from Tim Hortons and I also grabbed a keto bar. I get these from Costco, hopefully you can see that. I'm not on a keto diet at all. Um, I just actually enjoy the taste of these. Typically I will have like eggs or oatmeal for breakfast, but I ate really late last night. So not much of an appetite this morning, but I'll probably just have like a bigger lunch or something. All right, let's get to working. All right, so I just wanna show you the new printables I'm working on right now for my Etsy shop. I actually recorded a video that shows you how to create printable affirmations, so I will link that down below for you if you want to check it out. But I've just created 45 printable affirmation cards, and I was just working on the actual images for these cards. So I'm going to be uploading these actually right now um, to a new listing and I can show you how to do that. But I typically recommend explaining exactly what the customer is getting in your images so that it's clear, especially if they are um, digital downloads, just so that they know they're not receiving a physical product and they're just able to download it and print it on their end. I'm in my shop right now and I'm just going to take one of the listings I already have for positive affirmations and I'm just going to make a copy. So I'm gonna take this one here and I'm just gonna to go to copy. So it just duplicates it and I don't have to put in all the work to create a whole new listing. I could just edit this one based on these new affirmation cards.
Typically, I will go in and start changing up a little bit of the tags and the title just to see if I can rank for different keywords, but I can't be bothered right now. A little bit lazy, so I'm just going to publish this as a copy for now, and then if I want to go in later on to change up some of the keywords, I will. And I just wanted to share that I always wear these blue light glasses when I work on my computer because I tend to look at screens a lot during the day. So um, I just got these off Amazon, so just you can go onto Amazon and type in blue light glasses glasses and I got like a package for like two of them so I leave one at work and then I have one here in my home office. Okay so the next task I want to check off my to-do list today is start filling out this physical calendar that I got from Amazon. It was like $50 or something. Um, I'll find it and I will link it down below for you if you're interested but I'm super excited to start filling this out because I don't usually have like a physical calendar. I have everything logged into my phone so I'll use usually know what's coming up, but I want to be able to see the whole year coming up and um, I want to view it like while I'm working in my home office. I've got a lot coming up for my business, like a lot of partnerships. I'm launching some classes. I'm really excited about it all, but just thinking about it is really overwhelming. So I feel like once I map it out on here, it won't seem too daunting. So I'm going to start color coding. Um, I'm obviously not going to fill this whole thing out right now. This is definitely going to be over the next few days, but I at least want to start writing out the videos that are coming out in January and February. I've got really, really cool topics that I'm going to be sharing with you. So I'm just going to start doing that right now. All right, I think he needs a walk now. It's about 12.15 now. I'm just going to take a break and take Milo for a walk. I like to just remind myself to get up and stretch my legs just so that I'm not working in my home office for hours and hours. So once I do that, I'm gonna come back and finish up a couple of business templates that I'm going to share with you guys. I'm really, really excited. So for now, let's get out of here. Got back from our walk and made myself a lunch. I just had a sandwich and yogurt with some peanut butter. I am peanut butter obsessed, so I basically have it every single day. Um, made myself a tea. I'm gonna head back into my home office to do a little bit more work, but before I do that, I really wanted to take this opportunity to share with you guys some big news, basically a big milestone that I hit in my business this year. And the reason I wanna share it is because if I could just like motivate one person watching to start their digital product business, or to keep going, then it's worth it. So like I mentioned, I work full time and for a few years I've been trying out different side hustles. I started off kind of like a graphic designer on the side. Um, I did a lot of freelancing and I enjoyed it, but I had no idea how to scale that business because it was one income stream and it was just me. 2020 was the year that I learned all about passive income streams and building multiple income streams online. So I started my Etsy shop summer of 2020 and and then I started this YouTube channel October of 2020. So just over two years of starting this specific business, I have managed to hit six figures uh, within the year of 2022. So that's really, really crazy to just say out loud. I feel like I still haven't processed it and full transparency, I made more in my business than I do in my full-time job. Now, if you're wondering, why don't you just quit your full-time job? That's a conversation for a whole nother video. I do have my reasons right now, but it is crazy because I never thought it was even possible. And this year was not an easy year. Like, I don't want you guys to think that it's all just like rainbows and flowers all the time. There are days and weeks that I've had to take off from my business because I struggle with anxiety. Um, I also dealt with a lot of grief this year. It was not an easy year, but I still stuck to it for the most part because I absolutely love what I've built. So I've managed to pass six figures this year because of all the income streams that I have built in the last couple of years, like affiliate marketing, YouTube AdSense, my Etsy shop, 
I offer coaching. Sometimes I'll do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I offer other digital products as well, like templates on my Koji account. And I've gotten into partnerships and sponsorships. Now, if you're thinking that it's nearly impossible for you to be making this amount of money, you're not going to make it overnight. If you're seeing all of these people sharing like, oh, make, you know, six figures, you know, in, in your first week, they probably just got lucky or they're lying to you. It's just, it's not the case for most people. Real talk, it takes time, it takes patience, and you have to love what you're doing. So I wanted to tell you this because as cliche as this sounds, if I can do it, you can do it, and probably way better. You just have to be willing to put in the work and show up on the days that no one else shows up. Not every digital product you launch is going to sell. Not every content piece you share is going to go viral, but it's that consistency over time, the willingness to fail, looking at your analytics and seeing what's working and doubling down on that, that's what's going to get you to higher levels than you ever imagined. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, whether you've been here since the beginning or you're new, I really hope my content continues to serve you. This is obviously not possible without you. So thank you so, so much. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'm gonna go work on the last digital product today in my home office, so let's go. we go so I'm working on this template that I'm gonna be offering on my channel um, to everyone that is offering printable wall art or just printables in their Etsy shop or their website so a lot of people have been asking me for this and it's finally ready. And I finished the actual templates for this. I was just working on the images for this product just so that anybody that wants to purchase the templates, they know exactly what they're getting. And like I mentioned, there's five options to choose from. So this is called a printable size chart. And I've laid out exactly what people are getting. And of course, I'm going to describe even more um, in this product description so that they know exactly what they're receiving after they purchase. I tend to create all of these images in Canva and I actually created the templates in Canva as well. So I'm just going to be sharing the link. I have videos on how to create Canva templates. You can check that out on my channel and I'm gonna be offering it on my Koji account. So this is where I offer other digital products. I've got my Etsy shop, but I also sell some digital products on my Koji account. So I'll be adding more digital products to here. And in case you missed my productivity video, I will link it down below for you. But basically one of my tips that I share is to listen to music that helps you focus. And I'm always, always Always listening to lo-fi girl when I'm working because it just helps me focus and get things done much quicker okay so the only items I still have left on my to-do list are to start editing this vlog which I will probably start doing tonight if I have some time and then um, I still have to do the laundry but that'll also happen later on but I'm just going to finish up what I'm doing here and then my husband and I are going to head over to uh, Westfield Heritage Village I've never been there but it is part of the adventure challenge so I'm super excited about that So babe, did you want to say something? Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. <laughs> Bye guys.